Finding Your Digital Direction by playing the Digital Compass Game. This app is from Common Sense Media. The Lessons. For Grade 6, you will work with Information Literacy, playing the game Citation Infestation, and later on this year, possibly Privacy and Security with Sticky Situations. Self-Image and Identity, Kung Fu Fibber will be Grade 7. Internet Safety, Break It Down, Grade 7. Cyberbullying, Digital Heartbreak, Grade 8. Relationships and Communication, Insta Slammed, also Grade 8. Unassigned, you can do these on your own if you'd like. Creative Credit and Copyright, hack -a wrong And Digital Footprint and Reputation, Me, Me, Meme. Grade 6 lessons, you will start with number 1, the citation infestation. Later on in the year, you could go to sticky situation. The scenario listed here is what um, you will work through as you play the game. Grade 7, you will start with number 1, Kung Fu Fibber. Again, the scenario is listed down below. Grade 8, Digital Heartbreak is your first game of the year. Again, the scenario is listed here. How it works. Each lesson and a mini game will take about 45 minutes. Students do the number one lesson for their grade level. Each story has nine possible endings, 23 decision points of either positive or not so positive twist, 32 different paths that you can take, 50 possible combinations. At the end of the first path of each story, students are met with a skills-based mini-game. Each game has three levels of scaffolded content, randomized for repeated play. The player's game scores and times are recorded on scorecards. Students can X out of a game at any time, but incomplete scoring will not be captured on a scorecard. And students should add their name to the scorecard and save it to their photos library. What students do? Students start by selecting the correct lesson by pressing on the character. See the previous slides for what each character is and which activities are done by grade level. Students will need headphones or should mute their iPad. This is what the story preview screen looks like. It will give you the dilemma and then you will press start the story. As you work through the story, you will see this screen on the X in the bottom left. If I click that, it's going to ask me if I am sure because no progress will be recorded. At the bottom, you can see the scenario, a map of all the different possible combinations, and the last little um, icon there is the actual scorecard. You're going to keep your scorecard in your camera roll. You will add your student name because I may end up asking you to uh, upload your scorecard to a Google folder later. What does it all mean? Well, you see you have a game score first, last, and best, and the progress score. Clearly, I did not do much of it or enough of it, only 19%, and I only have two badges. As you work through a module, your scorecard records your progress. There, each scorecard has two types of scores, a progress score and a game score. For scoring, correct answers earn 500 points. X number of correct answers in a row act as power-up multipliers. Example, three correct answers in a row earns 500 times three equals 1,500 points. Incorrect answers also subtract in level 1, 100 points, in level 2, 200 points, in level 3, 300 points. The scorecards display bronze, silver, and gold badges for both the progress on the story as well as the game scores. Story badges. Bronze means you reached one ending. Silver reached three endings. Gold reached nine endings. Game badges. Bronze completed the game first time. Silver, great score, great time, 80% or better. Gold, flawless 
gameplay. Remember, save your scorecard to your camera roll, find your digital direction,